everybody, welcome back to E Cubed. Today's expression is very, 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 very useful if you are driving in America or perhaps you're at a restaurant or a coffee shop or maybe just McDonald's. Yeah. The expression is tap it off. Tap it off. Well, it, the expression should be tap it off, please. Top it off, please. Top it off. Top it off. Three words. Top it off. Yeah. Top it off. What does it mean to top something off? It means to fill it to the maximum. Fill it completely. Fill it up. Fill it to the brim. With rim? No. Fill it to the rim with brim. Yes. Fill it to the rim with brim. It's an old television commercial. Top it off, uh, fill her up, whatever, lots of different expressions. Today, once again, top it off. Uh, so let me explain the it. So if it's your coffee cup, ooh, ooh, Shane today is an artist. So this is a coffee cup, and right inside my coffee cup, I have this much coffee. So there's this much coffee, and then the waiter comes by, Sir, would you like some more coffee? And I can say, Top it off, please. Top it off, please. Or just top it off, please. And then he'll put coffee up until the top. Well, of course, not to the very top. That would be dangerous. And another situation would be at the gas station. Your gas attendant says, how much gas would you like, sir? Top it off. Make sure you have lots of money if you top it off. But then he'll fill up your gas tank until it's full. It's so easy. It's such a great expression. Let's check out the dialogue. Dad, can I use your car tonight? No. If I wash it and top it off with gas? No. But I promise No ifs, ifs, ands, or buts. No car. Yep. That was my father when I was very young, so I got my own car. And then I never had to ask my father for his car. Of course, my father's car was very nice, and my car was not. It was fine. Actually, my car was pretty cool. It was very inexpensive. Five hundred dollars. That was spent on my car. Yeah, it was a cool car, though. Anyway, uh, Dad, I'll top it off. I'll, can I use your car? I'll top it off. I'll put gas in it. That's the uh, that's the idea. That's the idea. And I hope you understand. That's the idea, and I hope you understand. Um, once again, I think that's about it. We've got lots of requests coming in from lots of different people. Thank you very much. I, your enthusiasm keeps me motivated, okay? And that, that's so important. So leaving comments and leaving requests. Every request you leave, I put on a list. And the list is... There's no order, so I just go through the list and I pick out a couple of very... I try to pick the most common expressions, okay? Sometimes there are, you know, goofy expressions and um, I might choose them, but I try to pick the most useful expressions, the most common expressions, and I try to focus on American English, of course, America where I'm from. I'm from the Midwest. So, you know, Chicago, Minneapolis, Wisconsin, this area is the English that I'm most used to. I have lived in California. I have lived in New York. I have lived in Georgia. I have lived in Texas. I have lived in Colorado. I have lived in Tennessee. But the Midwest, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, that's my area. <clears throat> We don't all talk like that, but yeah. I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. You have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Dad, can I use your car tonight? No. If I wash it and top it off with gas? No. But I promise No ifs, ifs, ands, or buts. No car. Dad, can I use your car tonight? No. If I wash it and top it off with gas? No. But I promise No ifs, ifs, ands, or buts. No car. 
Dad, can I use your car tonight? No. If I wash it and top it off with gas? No. But I promise no to- No ifs, ands, or buts. No car.